Now you expect to see some interesting vehicles at an electric vehicle festival, however this really caught my eye. And it's because it's got none of the body on, so you can see all the gubbins from the EVs. It's a, uh, it's a Westfield Lotus 11, um, originally had petrol engine obviously, yeah. A-series engine, sort of 1950s design, but um, obviously made into a kit car, space frame chassis, took out the old engine, threw that away, designed it. Had it died or was this your no, no, vision? So, no, so just decided that we're going to go electric. Yeah. Built two batteries yeah. for it, front and rear battery to try and even up the weight distribution in the car so we get to about even 50-50 weight distribution. Oh, very nice. Um, we've got three-phase AC motor in the middle there. Right, yeah. Um, 120 kilowatt, 310 newton meters of torque, so significantly more than it had originally. Yeah. Uh, that's the inverter that goes with it. We've got seven kilowatt uh, onboard charger. Uh, 44 kilowatt hour of battery, so that'll do 150, 160 miles driving it. You know, yeah, not not pooping Moderately, around. Yeah, yeah. Um, weighs in at 660 kilos, which is that is ridiculously <laughs> light. Incredibly light. Power weight ratio yeah, is yeah, crazy. Absolutely, it's mad. A naught to 60 time of around about five and a half seconds. So do you convert other vehicles or? Yeah, yeah. So we do we do pretty much any any. Uh, uh, classic car. Right. We, do, we do quite a few kit cars, yeah. um, but we also do classics. So these are, um, this is a uh, classic mini uh, subframe yeah. and battery box, and this is the motor that goes into it. So we've actually designed the gearbox to go, it's a reduction box, to go with the motor. And I like the name Eco there. Classics. Yeah, well. It suits very well. So yeah, that's going to go into the front of a Mini 7 race car. Okay. So we've been invited to make an entry in, in the race series. So they can actually gauge what electric yeah. cars are like versus petrol. Is it the future of racing? Yeah. Just give them some ideas around that. So well, that's it. Formula E led the Oh, um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's been, revolt, been, it? been a great success, right? Yes. But, but what's going to happen in the lower yeah. It's a motorsport, right? So this is a step in that direction to understand what, what's possible. Yeah, because um, we've seen, um, I think it's extreme, like uh, Paris to Dakar style stuff with electric cars yep, coming. Yep. And some of those look radical. So if you're looking at, you know, more the size of like minis and that kind of thing. It's a bit like auto test cars and that kind of thing then. Yeah, very much so. I mean, it, it, it's this, this will be focused on circuit racing yeah. for a start. But then who knows, right? Yeah. Um, We've been approached by people to do autocross, that sort of thing, yeah. ele electric conversions on those. There, there's, there's so many, so many people coming and talking to us. Well, that's it. it. I bet your business has boomed since, well, since basically COVID, I suppose, because people uh, have now we had... started the business in December 20, what's that, uh, 2019. Right. And uh, yeah. Since then, it's, uh, it's just exploded. So, uh, and I wondered what the hell I was doing. No, well, well that's it. Favorite. A lot of people have yeah. been through that time of thought. Why not? Because you've got so much time to think. Yep, yep. Why not make it a reality? Well, I left Ford, right? I used to work for Ford Motor right. Company over in, Dan uh, in Dunton. Yeah. Uh, 25 years there, working in transit, electric transit. PM oh, right, transit. okay. So you've got so a that's where I got, that's where I got all, it. Yeah, so yeah. I've got all the knowledge from that and then decided that this was the way to go. I'd already converted one of these, which yeah. is my car. Um, so that was the test case? That was the test thing, right? And, and it just took off from there. Yeah. Um, so we've got the knowledge. We've got good supply system now for, for this sort of these all the components and um, yeah we've got pretty good order book um, how much is a conversion just a general um, ballpark figure so, so, so got an idea. parts parts to do a conversion probably about twenty five thousand and probably another five to eight thousand depending on what, it, yeah. what the conversion is I mean if you go if you go E type or nine eleven they're coming in at about fifty at the moment. Okay. Yeah. But it saves your classic, especially as, I mean, we don't know what's going to happen with combustion moving forward, we have no, no clue. No, no, no. So there, there, there's options there, and, and that price will come down, right, as, as prices of yeah. batteries. No, it's, it's mainly the battery, and yeah. it's not it's not just the battery modules themselves, it's the whole building the battery. I mean, these are all hand-built batteries, right, so they take quite, they take us quite a long time to build. Yeah. Um, and well, that's it. If it's custom, you pay the it. price, and it you yeah. know you, you're paying for quality, yeah. uh, workmanship, and that knowledge that you've accrued yeah. over so many years. Yeah. So I mean, we, we, we go through and 3D scan the cars so we can actually package this in. I would. Uh, 
the, the best that you can in the car, right? We, yeah. we work to the, the nearest millimetre. Yeah. Um, that's not always good because classic cars are never the same. No, right? they're not. So we want, no, no <laughs> so we, we own do, two we, we come along to some of them and go, oh my God. And, you, you know, a Mark, a Series 1 uh, E-Type versus a Series 2 E-Type. Yeah. Uh, they're pretty similar, but they're not the same. No, they're yeah, not at all. So, um, they look and, the same, even, that's about it. I've now found out the boot floor and everything in the back of a coupe versus a convertible. Totally different. Are different. Yeah, because we designed rear batteries to go in there. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks for telling us no that. No problem, and, uh, my pleasure. Yeah. Thank you. It'd be nice to see what you work on in the future as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're welcome to come and visit the workshop at some point. Thank you. We'd love right. to.